Sleepers was produced in October 1996 by Astoria Films, with a 15 certificate and a running time of 2 hours and 27 minutes. The story was written by Barry Levinson, and based on the novel by Lorenzo Casatera. The movie was also directed by Barry Levinson. The total budget for the movie was around $44 million, and it made more than $165 million worldwide. Four teenage friends from Hell's Kitchen end up being sent to a reform school after almost killing a man. There, they are brutalised by the guards. John and Tommy grow up to be hitmen who recognise their abuser years later and kill him. Their trial is prosecuted by another member of their gang who is now the assistant DA. That's it. Nothing else, I swear. Four friends raised in a legacy of crime. Everybody says this place comes for jobs. Who is everybody? You think running for King Benny's a good idea? Huh? Pays. A lot of things, Pay. Not like this. But when a childhood prank resulted in an accident. Born in 1962, Aida Totoro played the small part of Mrs. Salinas, who witnessed the shooting of the security guard. Aida is also known for Mickey Blue Eyes, Deep Blue Sea, and as Janice in The Sopranos. Billy Kudrup was born in 1968 and played the adult career criminal Tommy Marcano, who was part of a duo who shot Sean Noakes. Kudrup is also known for Almost Famous, Big Fish, and Watchmen. Born in 1963, Hollywood icon Brad Pitt played the adult Michael Sullivan who became an assistant district attorney. Most of us have seen at least one of Brad's movies, but he's perhaps best known for the Oceans franchise and World War Z. Brad Renfro was born in 1982 and played the part of young Michael Sullivan. Discovered by Joel Schumacher when he was just 10 years old, Brad made his movie debut in The Client with Susan Sarandon and Tommy Lee Jones. Sadly, Renfro had difficulties in his private life, which included a series of arrests and stints in drug treatment. Ultimately, he died from a drug overdose when he was just 25. Born in 1949, Bruno Kirby played the role of Lorenzo's father. Kirby is known for his work on City Slickers, When Harry Met Sally and Good Morning Vietnam. All big movies of their time. Kirby passed away in 2006, after suffering with leukemia. Megastar Dustin Hoffman was born in 1937 and played washed up alcoholic lawyer Danny Snyder, who is hired to defend the boys in court. One of the biggest names in the business and with a career that began in the early 60s, Hoffman is perhaps best known for Tootsie, The Graduate and Rain Man. Born in 1958, Frank Medrano played Fat Man Show who is vocal in his opinion of Hell's Kitchen. Madrano is also known for starring in The Shawshank Redemption and The Usual Suspects. Jeffrey Wigdor was born in 1982 and plays the part of the young John Riley. Although Wigdor received great praise for his performance, his career has been made up mostly of supporting roles in the likes of Law & Order, Spin City and The Sopranos. Born in 1966, Jason Patrick played the part of the main protagonist and author of the original novel, Lorenzo Casatera. Patrick's career started back in the mid-80s and he has starred in The Lost Boys and Speed 2. Jeffrey Donovan was born in 1968 and played Henry Addison, one of the abusive guards at the Wilkinson Home for Boys. Donovan has recently found fame on TV shows Shut Eye, Fargo and Burn Notice. Born in 1982, Jonathan Tucker played the part of the young Tommy Marcano. Tucker is another actor who has recently spent time on the small screen in TV shows Debris, Westworld and Kingdom. 
Joseph Perino was born in 1982 and portrayed the young Lorenzo Carcetera. Perino is also known for Blue Bloods, The Sopranos and Power. Born in 1958, Kevin Bacon played the ringleader of the abusive guards, Sean Noakes, who ended up shot to death. Having risen to fame as Wren in Footloose back in 1985, Bacon has an impressive list of movie credits including JFK, A Few Good Men and Apollo 13. Minnie Driver was born in 1970 and plays the part of the boy's childhood friend and social worker, Carol Martinez. In addition to a whole host of TV work, Minnie has also appeared in Goodwill Hunting and An Ideal Husband. Born in 1959, Peter Appel had the supporting role as the boyfriend who put John in hospital. Appel is also known for Leon, Curb Your Enthusiasm and Luck. Hollywood great Robert De Niro was born in 1943 and played the part of the boy's father figure and parish priest, Father Bobby Carrillo. De Niro has been acting since the mid-60s and has starred in classics like Raging Bull, Taxi and The Deer Hunter. Born in 1965, Ron Eldard played career criminal John Riley, who, along with Tommy, was responsible for killing Sean Noakes. Eldard is also known for Super 8, Deep Impact and Black Hawk Down. Terry Kinney was born in 1954 and played Ralph Ferguson, another of the abusive guards at the boys' home. He's another actor who has since turned his hand to directing, and is a founding member of the Steppenwolf Theatre Company. Kinney is also known for The Firm, Billions and the HBO series Oz. Italian Vittorio Gasman was born in 1922 and played local gangster King Benny. Having appeared in a mix of American and Italian movies since the late 40s, Gasman died in 2000 after a heart attack. <laughs>